The already endangered green sea turtle faces a major new challenge. They nearly vanished 40 years ago here in Florida. And now the males of the species appear to be fewer in number. CBS News correspondent Mark Strassman is in Boca Raton with the newest threat to sea life. In a beachfront ritual that dates back more than 100 million years, we came upon this 300 pound green sea turtle covering her beach nest, burying maybe 100 eggs or more. This is what that turtle's babies will look like. Biologist Jeanette Wynikin directs Florida Atlantic University's Marine Lab and has studied Florida's sea turtle population since 2002. She's alarmed by what she doesn't see in her tanks of hatchlings. We're seeing fewer and fewer and fewer years where we find males. So seven out of the last 10 years, we have not found any males. In not our, a single one? Not a single one. Not a single one. We'll get up to 300 pounds, at least the species that we're excavating today. Taylor Rowe helps collect hatchlings for Wynikin's research on why male sea turtles seem to be disappearing. Looks like we might have close to over 100 empty shells, which means those hatchlings made it out and went to the water. It's not genetics that determine a sea turtle's sex. It's the sand's temperature. The tipping point is roughly 85 degrees for a species that is predominantly female. If it's too warm, you don't get boys. If it's too cool, you don't get girls. So it's the hot chicks and cool dudes. What explains why these nests keep getting warmer? Certainly weather and climate change. Climate change. As Florida's beaches get hotter, species are showing signs of shutting down. Sea turtles and possibly also alligators. Another reptile whose eggs skew female and whose sex is determined by nest temperatures. On this rooftop at the University of North Florida, biologist Adam Rosenblatt's built 20 nests of 20 alligator eggs apiece. This plastic will artificially warm the nest by 5.5 degrees. That's how much hotter North Florida is expected to be by the end of this century. If it's happening in sea turtles, my thought was it could be happening in alligators as well, and it could throw off that balance between males and females. Back in Wynikin's lab, she uses a mini camera to determine their sex after they reach six weeks old. So I have to wait till they're big enough for me to sort of look under their skirts. Last night, Wynikin's team released hundreds of hatchlings into the sea to the admiration of dozens of turtle fans. She knows the odds are already long for this prehistoric species, more so now that climate change is in play. There's some resilience in there that we as scientists may not have discovered. And then there's part of us that says things are changing so fast compared to what's happened in the past. That resilience may not be enough. Sea turtles don't become sexually mature until they're at least 25 years old. So the impact of these disappearing male hatchlings may not be known for another generation. Mark Strassman, CBS News, Boca Raton, Florida.